All right, so we're going from Nickelback to Fit for a King, Falling Through the Sky. Uh, their last song that they put out was really freaking good. I really enjoyed it. I wonder if this one's going to be heavier or more melody based, but either way, let's just jump right in. Here we go. Sounds more like Octane Rock. Let's go. Ah, what a good voice. I can tell he's been practicing and getting better at singing because... All right, I'm going to shut up until the chorus hits. So it's solid. It just sounds a lot like everything else every band on Octane is doing, like to the T. Look at the bass went out there. Not bad. No, it's not really grabbing me though. Okay, I'm glad they cut that in half this time. His voice is definitely my favorite part about this so far. I like that section. The drums pick up on that chord. Ooh, nice. Come on. Love the double kick. Cool drums. Dude, their singles have been really cinematic so far. Like all their tracks. Ooh, that was a nice little melody change. Slight melody change there. Surprised there's not like repeated or background melodies at all. What's up, Carolina? Hey, Morning Thorn. Okay, I'm not really into it. It's totally fine. It works, it's written well. Just nothing like really grabbed me or I don't know, it didn't 
just didn't really do much for me. I think it's a solid song. And so what I was going to say before the first, first chorus is it sounds like, at least based on their previous stuff, uh, when Ryan would sing, I liked his voice and could tell that there was the tone. But to me, his voice was like super, super tuned. And I didn't really like that sound, even though I still liked the song and I liked his tone. So it really wasn't like a big deal. But on this... They're still tuning, but it sounds like he's obviously like progressed as a singer. So I really, really like his voice and how it's developing though. And I like that there wasn't like a super excessive tuning sound on his vocal either. So I think it's really cool that he's really becoming like a well-rounded vocalist instead of just the screamer that sometimes sings. Cause I do like Puck's voice too. He's the bass guy, I think. So I was surprised that he didn't do the chorus or he didn't do anything. It was all Ryan. So I think it's really cool that they did that. Like a like a modern octane rock song with Ryan doing all the vocals kind of thing. Yeah, that's 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 the thing that's weird for me is like everything was good. Everything's solid, but it just didn't really didn't really do anything for me. So it's not something I'm gonna save definitely my least favorite of the singles again still solid and um i'm sure it'll do really well for them so yeah i'm definitely excited for the album